To balance this equation, we have sodium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide. You have sodium carbonate and water. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one sodium atom. We have one oxygen atom right here. And we have these two over here. So don't forget those. So we have three oxygen atoms. We have one hydrogen and just the one carbon. Over on the products, we have two sodiums. The oxygens, we have three here plus this one sitting out here. So we have four oxygens, two hydrogens, and one carbon. So we've got our atoms here. Whenever I have this odd number here, I like to get that to be an even number. And it looks like the best way to do that is if I could change this to a two, two plus two would give me four. So I'm going to put a two in front of the NaOH, and then I'm going to update all of the NaO and H. So I have one hydrogen times two. That'll give me the two hydrogens. For the oxygens, I have the one times the two. That gives me the, the two plus these two oxygens over here. And that gives me four. And that's what we were going for. So we have four oxygens here and four oxygens here. So that's good. And then the sodiums, we have one times two. That'll give us two sodium atoms. And next we can see that this equation is all balanced. That was all we needed to do to balance the equation. So be careful if you have one oxygen here, make sure you count the other oxygens as well with an equation like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaOH plus CO2 yields Na2CO3 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.